public enemy. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Freedom is a road seldom travelled by the multitude. This record. Arguably the greatest hip-hop record ever made. I mean... Just look at this record. It's actually unbelievable. It's an unbelievable record. Recorded at an unbelievable time. 1988, I believe this came out. I was still in secondary school. Came out on Def Jam Records. I mean, this record... made the world stand still, literally. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I could describe it. It literally made the world stand still. A group that basically was so controversial, so powerful, on, on arguably the best hip-hop label of all time, Def Jam, Russell Simmons, Rick Rubin, What was so incredible about Public Enemy is that not only did they make, I mean, just everything about that group was just incredible, but they would make these albums with fantastic artwork. I mean, just look at their logo. Public Enemy. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. The title alone. It's just breathtaking. It's staggering. It's so powerful. Um, the way the artwork was done in this album. I mean, this is all in black and white. It didn't need to be colour. That in itself was just absolutely amazing. you got Chuck D, the messenger of prophecy. Flavor Flav, the cold lamper. Terminator X. Terminator X, the assault technician. Professor Griff. Ministry of Information, the S1Ws, you've got a picture of Chuck and the S1Ws in a prison, you've got all of these credits and shout outs, Nation of Islam, Fruit of Islam, Black Panther Party, Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, Mr. Louis Farrakhan. Jesse Jackson. And on this album, what's so incredible is this album has got live segments. Look, 1987, London. Thanks to Dave Pierce, Radio London, and Terry Jervis of BBC. Exclusive messages. The album actually opens from recordings in the UK. So this album, which is arguably the greatest hip-hop album of all time, one of the pivotal moments in this album and the focal, focal points of this album is a recording of one of their fantastic concerts in the UK. And I believe it was at Hammersmith. I believe I was there. <laughs> so I'm probably on this recording screaming and shouting along with the other thousands of fans that were at that concert. This is Comanche Sly speaking. HipHop73.com And this is just part one of this incredible album by Public Enemy. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back where I'm going to go into depth to describe the impact that this album had on me and um, just the amazing artistry that went into making it. Pace is Comanche Sly from Hip Hop 73 part one. Public Enemy, it takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Arguably the best ever hip-hop album.